Hey guys, Daryl here with Man vs. Fish. Uh, before we get into today's video, I did want to touch on some things I had seen this week uh, regarding safety and etiquette. Um, a lot of us need a simple reminder. Um, don't know why I should have to remind anybody though. Uh, no skinny dipping when you're next to somebody fishing. Um, especially if they're wearing a GoPro, you don't want that to show up on YouTube. Um, while I was fly fishing, uh, they also decided to sit right behind where I was back casting. Uh, back cast can get 20 to 30 feet long and uh, there's not a whole lot of room in a lot of places. Um, so yeah, don't put yourself in that situation. Um, you know, it's inconvenient for the angler. Um, certainly there's another spot that you can sit. Um, the angler shouldn't have to move if he's where the fish are. Uh, where are your PFDs? Wear your PFDs always. Um, too many times you see people out in boats and you know what? Sometimes it's close, but it's not going to be close enough when you go overboard. Um, furthermore, leave the beers on the beach. You know, um, cruising around with boat in the boat, it's fun. Hey, I'm not going to um, tell you that you can't have fun. Um, just be safe. Um, you know, it's not just yourself that you're putting at risk. It's anybody that you don't see, like the guy in the kayak. Finally, uh, take your garbage off the lake with you. If you're leaving with less than you showed up with, um, don't come back. Uh, Northern Manitoba is a beautiful place. Um, and this week alone, I cleaned up two garbage bags, two large garbage bags of trash that uh, are just discarded. It's disgusting. Um, I'd like to keep Northern Manitoba a beautiful place. And um, yeah, just do your part. Thank you. Furthermore, I want to talk to you a bit about the Fish Donkey app. Uh, if you've heard of it, great. If you haven't or are unfamiliar with it, um, it is a online fishing tournament application uh, where you can host your own fishing tournaments or join others. Um, any species, any body of water, uh, any rules you want, uh, set your own entry fees and um, it's a lot of fun. So go ahead, check that out. Um, I'm going to leave that in the description down below, uh, as well as a link to Mammoth Innovations. Uh, they are holding their September fishing tournament uh, this month coming up. And uh, I'll be participating in that and hope to see you there as well. Um, again, the information for that is down below. Uh, finally, uh, one last thing. Uh, I'd like to get your opinion on uh, which species that you would like to see me target more. Um, so I've created a poll down below. Uh, go ahead and let me know your choice of walleye, northern pike, smallmouth bass, or any of the trout species or hybrids. Um, I may clump that all into one or I may do individuals. Um, but go ahead and give me your opinion on that because it matters and it helps me out. Um, anyway, on to this week's video. See you soon. All right, guys, good morning. It is Sunday. Uh, after some technical difficulties and the wind pushed me off the water yesterday, uh, the fish won. So uh, I did get one smallmouth, but uh, like I said, technical difficulties, uh, GoPro didn't capture it. And uh, today I'm looking for some redemption. So the winds are still up today. Um, I'm going to seek a bit more shelter. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to the Goose River. Uh, situated about an hour south of Flintflaw, Manitoba and 10 minutes south of Cranberry Portage. So let's get this kayak unloaded, uh, get the fly gear out and uh, see what kind of damage I can do today. Alright, catch up with you soon. shallow stuff to get started.
that's one. There we go. There is Brookies here, right on. Oh, what's going on here? There you go, a nice little brookie. Tiny little guy, but hey, I'll take him on the first cast. You betcha. He's good. He's good. Said to catch his breath. All right, here we go. Whee! This is gonna be interesting. It's probably the roughest I've been through so far. Oh, like nothing. This is beautiful. Well, that was fun. <laughs> well, that's just about it for this video. My apologies for the technical issues and lack of actual fishing footage. But on the bright side of it all, I caught my second Master Angler Smallmouth Bass and added a 10th species to my 2023 season. All right, guys, that's it for this week's video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my content. Stay safe out there, and always keep it cleaner than you found it. We'll see you again.